so let me first open any terminal so click on the terminal and just open it over here so this is window 11 so i got this terminal over here and here first actually we have to check is there any existing wsl is over there or not so we can simply check list so now see currently i have just installed this okay this open to 24 yeah that is fine and also i can just check one more thing so over here so using this command uh, wsl list and barbose actually it is just saying okay whatever actually uh, that wsl or uh, that uh, distributed system is running in your machine right so currently two things is currently uh, i have that but both are stopped so these are actually check that states so yeah make sure like everything is over there then if it is not there so then we have to install so for installation how we can do that so simply you can just check this command like online and this online you can able to see all the distribution system is available over here right so which one you want to install so you can just install so by default most probably actually install some of the machine is this one like a one two okay so you can just unregister over there and then also you can just install this one so i'll show you that how can install over there first so it's just like simple like wsl then again install and that distribution for d and then whatever you want so if you want this one so you can just simply copy and this one okay and you can just simply hit enter so it will just try to download and install okay so i am not going to do the time simply skip that okay and also i just can skip that because i already installed so i don't not, don't want to do that but uh, you can just do and wait for complete so once you complete you can simply restart your machine so let me just restart for my side so after you know restart so i just come back over here and you are able to see that should be an option is over here so ideally you can just use this way and also you can search it over here so i'll just go with that so if you first time like if you do the first time definitely it is asking to that your you know uh, username and password so just set any username and password and that's it so once you're done now you're going to install completely so now moving to the next step which is need to docker install so for the docker install uh, i already have but yeah if you don't have so you can just go to daughter desktop for windows and go to that the desk website side over here and you can just download over here and using this uh, setup and all okay so you can just use this for window so go with this window and take it that window version based on your you and you can just install right so yeah then also it's completed so now uh, moving to next part which is integrate this you know uh, docker uh, in our subsystem so how we can do that so as of now if i just check this docker so see there is a no command is available here, but but if i see over here after install you know docker uh, in the window so you are able to see the docker version is over there right that is fine but it is not available in ubuntu correct so for integration what you can do you don't need to install anything on this over here because we have to use that same docker which i have installed in my you know window system so that that i that we have to integrate over here so how we can do that simply open that docker desktop and go to the setting section and go to that resource section and go to this here uh, WSL integration and see once you install uh, or you know uh, WSL install in your Ubuntu you know distribution system so it will appear over here so whatever you know uh, distribution system will be installed so that will be available over here so what you can do it's simply see by default it's check this one but if you want to use this docker to in your Ubuntu system simply you can check this and apply and restart okay now once you're done now close that and just minimize this or you can just close it that up to you and then i can simply check over here docker so now see now it is available there's all that command is available so what i can check that's version so same version 
I can able to see what is we have over here 28 and same things is over here so that is fine uh, now we are moving to next step which is installed and config nvidia container in toolkit okay so and in here so i want to integrate that uh, nvidia toolkit so currently uh, if i just check over here cls so currently i have installed in my windows so i that can be visible over here nvidia yeah and then smi so see currently it is available but if i check over here so actually it is also available over here so yeah so might be i i just installed previously the default one that taking somewhere okay so for that if you want to install from that scratch in your machine so you have to do one thing so for that what you can do you can just go back to the web browser and check for nvidia so yeah just search for this nvidia uh, container toolkit and click on that and so once you go here now see you're able to see this is that few command which you can just installed okay so let's just start one by one so simply you have to take this first one copy this go to your you know one two here and simply i can just clear that and simply paste it and simply hit enter so it is asking to that password so i can just keep my password yeah so now i have just added over here simply go back take that another one and go to here see also it is just over here but yeah it is asking to that permission denied so using this permission denied you can just simply go to here use the sudo yeah now also it's got edit now go to that another one yeah just update that sudo okay this also got completed and now this is that last one we have to just in our repository so yeah use this copy that go back and just use that okay now successfully installed everything from here so now moving to next we have to add some configuration so if you scroll down so in here see this is that part of that configuration the docker so that we have to uh, configure so i can just take it the copy uh, from here right and just simply i can just paste it over there so it just configured uh, our docker over here so that another one is see over here in the restart your docker so yeah if currently if you try to this one so definitely you will get that some error right so the best practice over here you have to restart your computer and then come back to for the nvidia installation for further uh, in in the docker okay so yeah just i just complete everything over here but what i observe like i have the recording okay so yeah just i start the recording and then explain actually what we have done after restart so once you restart now just open a terminal and in this terminal actually we have to install you know that CUDA image uh, for that gpus okay so for that what you need to do simply you have to use this command the docker pull nvidia CUDA and this is that rocky linux and uh, rocky linux 8 so where you did get that this one so you can there either you can just open you know uh, nvidia gpus uh, sorry uh, docker hub so you can just search for docker hub 
yeah in this docker hub you can just go to there and this docker hub you can just search for nvidia cuda so you can just search over here once you search now you're able to see uh that list over there so like for example for example see just once i search not this guy just search for this and if you scroll down you're able to see this is that one and once you open this you're able to see that uh that command actually there is a command actually to use uh to create your images over here right so uh for that actually not we have to we have to not required that you know latest one we have to take uh, the older one so yeah because you know some of that you know uh, machine learning uh it is not supporting the latest one right it's like for example uh that i can skip that one example okay so if i use that pytorch and go to that pytorch website official website if you try to uh you know set up your tens tensor flow and all right so if go back i think yeah see this one just for the installation uh, over here so if you use that window so see currently they are supported for coda 12 13 and 29 12 9 right so that's why actually i'm recommend to use that only just uh, downgrade version which can support you know in your machine learning uh, things right so yeah that's why i'm using this 12 8 right not also 12 9 so yeah that actually you have to check over here which one is for 12.8 so you can just simply use that rocky linux you can search for here so let me try to search yeah it's for rocky linux so copy this and just paste it to use 8 and yeah see the latest version is 13.1 but we are not considering this one so if you scroll down this is 9 also if you uh if you good with that so you can also use that 9 but yeah i am especially recommend for 8 so this is that one okay so i will use this one and also you can see this is that command okay so which we can use it for that installation or pull that image and all right so if go back to the terminal simply you can use that that command along with you have to add this you know um, this docker pull and that and the last actually you have to add this nvidia's smi which is just nothing it's just showing that result okay so just use this and once you use that so i am just facing some issue actually once i execute what was the issue actually i have not started our docker so make sure you just um, start your docker over here if you restart so definitely it was not a start automatically so you have to start over here and then also you can check it over here using this wsl uh, version so like your docker desktop should be in running state okay so yeah once you ensure running so that that time actually this command will work perfectly so now see yeah this is that command actually so uh, we have to add actually sudo uh, sudo docker right so we have that command for docker but yeah we have to add that sudo command so that we have to install in our in oven to uh, properly and also uh, once you start this command uh, this command over here so it is asking to their password so give that password and once you give that password it will take some time actually this image can have 5 gb so that need to take some time to you know download so once you come download we'll come back to over here okay finally it's got download over here see this is download properly and once you download if you scroll down now it's showing that result as well so that result also actually that uh, you know showing that okay uh, this is my gpu and this is my driver and all everything is perfectly fine okay and if you go back to my docker so if i go to that image section yeah so see this is that image which length is 7.82 right so once you make sure okay it is properly you know install uh, properly create a image in your docker uh, for the gpu right so because we have just created a gpu image for that okay so now uh, we have to create a container so now moving forward to next step so just create a container so how we can do that simply 
just clear that so simply i'm just giving this command but yeah don't worry or whatever command i'm using i'll just provide you but here again uh, simply use docker run gpu all and name this is that my container name right and also with same image whatever image i just created that image name also i just provided over here and just using that you know depth null okay and just what you hit enter and also is asking to my password so yeah provide my password okay cool now see uh, container got created so if i want to make sure that container is created or not so if you go back now see it's screen and if you go the container section now your container got created over here so once you ensure your container is running now we have to run this container okay so how we can do that simply go back to again over here the terminal and simply just use this command for sudo docker exe it and this is that my container right and using that bash command so is this so see now bash command is started for this container which is my gpu container my container and yeah and here also we can check like nvidia smi see the same result is over here right and also you can see over here see uh, this is your rocky linux right it is not a uh, wsl so how you can identify so previously in this you know uh, this image in this container actually be specified rocky linux 8 right so that rocky linux actually this running in the my container and we have to just using the bash command to going to inside on that rocky linux okay so now uh, next step uh, would be test like okay our tensor flow like how is working in the tensor flow like in the tensor flow like they are returning a gpu and all so that we have to test it so let moving to that so for that i have to use one command uh, which is this dnf group install dev tools which will you know install the all the packages over here hit enter so over here see the couple of packages just installed and upgrade and they're asking to okay uh, do you want to install yes okay finally see uh, it's just completed over here and yeah now further actually we need to install python and all so let me check first actually python is available or not version yeah see python is not available over here so that we have to install it first so using that same you know df command i'll just use this python and along with i want to use a pip command also and also i have to use another python d level finally i'll just make it to yes so that it not asking me to again and again okay so now moving to install tensorflow so what i can do uh, i go to the tensorflow website go to the tensorflow go to that installation one and go to pip version and over here see this is that command actually uh, sorry not this one this is that command we have to install so copy this and go back to your terminal go to here and ensure that uh, we only just mention 3 like whatever version we have installed 3.12 uh, so that you have to mention over here 3.12 okay hit enter okay finally see uh, there are a couple of time they're taking the time to download all the package so once you package download now we are good to go to test it uh, our tensorflow is uh, sorry that gpu is uh, supported or not so simply you can just copy this command from this uh, previously which we taking but one thing you have to check over here so see as like we are using python 3.12 so we have to mention that python 3.12 and also this is that is a import your import tensorflow and then simply i can print it and check that okay it is a gpu or not so hit enter and finally i can able to see the device type is gpu right so that is fine i think that is we we trying to achieve over here so now this inside this container gpu container um, set up everything to support for gpu